good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars, Tarot. So I didn't meditate on the energy too much because I was just excited to deliver this kind of energy because I feel like it's so very much needed. But what I'm getting is there is some kind of miraculous shift that is coming in and it's bringing a lot of um, success and abundance for you. So let's go ahead and take a dive into the situation and see what else spirit would like you to know. Right off the rip, we already have miracles at the bottom of the deck. Oh, goodness. The way the cards just felt in my hand, it, it, it was interesting because it gave me the feeling, the sensation of how everything is interconnected. This is almost giving me like a serendipitous series of events. Listening. I just saw new beginnings and um, soulmate. So for some of you, you could be in embarking on a new journey with someone that you connect with on a soul level. What else would you like the collective to know? With this listening card, I feel like you guys are tapping into angelic realms. Um, Spirit wants you to trust the telepathic conversations you're having in your head. Um, trust that it is coming from a good source. Or trust that you're actually having a telepathic conversation. It's not just in your head. Like you, you are legitimately connecting with um, etheric realms. We have freedom. Listening and freedom. That's interesting. And then we have serenity and nature. This is almost like spirit has been hearing your thoughts. Spirit has been healing, healing. Wow. I was about to say hearing your desires. Spirit has been healing your desires. That's profound. Um, it really feels like there's something you desire. There's something that you are attracting. And it's because of your energy. It's because of your heart and your mind and your thoughts. Oh my goodness. Your reality is not matching your energy. And like, it's almost like the universe wants to free you from any kind of binds or limitations of a construct that can't contain you it's almost like you are unnecessarily in a box and spirit wants to dismantle the box because there's no reason for there to be a box for you we have intention yeah the, um you have some kind of ancestral, angelic, spiritual presence around you that has been keeping a close eye on you for quite some time. And I really feel like you're, you've, you've recently gone through um, some ascensions and the energy that you're in right now is attracting a whole new, like, density a whole new realm a whole new um reality it's kind of like you were almost like under like spirit has been like some kind of undercover boss with you like you didn't realize you were being observed you didn't realize that your intentions 
your emotions, your energy, your thoughts, your words, your actions have been closely observed. And I feel like you are being chosen for something. It really feels like you have proven to some kind of force, some kind of will, some kind of desire that um, you are meant for this. It's like you, I'm hearing like, yes, she's the one, he's the one. Like, I, I don't know what this is. So like, you have some kind of um, intention or desire for yourself or for the world or for life. Like there's something you want to step into. There's something you want to experience. There's something you want to create or express. And it's almost like there were many candidates to be chosen for this calling and they've all been many have been closely observed but you're the one that's being selected for this role you're the one that is um gonna bear this torch because i'm i'm feeling torch bear energy on my chest right now what else spirit We have nature, enchantment, and study. Yeah, that's literally what I'm getting. Like, you've been been you've been under observation. Like, some kind of realm, some kind of entity, and intelligence. Um, I'm gonna pull from another deck to see if maybe we can get a little bit of an idea of what what this is for you. Um, but there is some kind of energy. That has been studying you, observing you. Like, it's like they've been waiting so long for someone just like you to take on this task. In this nature card, I'm seeing this individual. And um, I can't really quite see what that is. But it almost looks like a uh, television or a mirror in this tree. I'm kind of scrying right now. I'm not just looking at the illustration. Um, and I'm seeing this, uh, I think it's like a flower or something this angel is holding. But I feel like what that is, is like, because with this uh, bubble, I'm seeing this bubble. It's a halo, but it's also a bubble, which I find interesting. It's almost like you're an astronaut in another realm being gifted some kind of path or purpose by other beings other um I'm, I'm feeling a lot of like because we have the enchantment right next to this nature and it feels so like magical it really feels magical this feels like um deva realms this feels like fey this feels like very etheric i'm hearing like um I can't even make the the sound that I'm hearing in my head um like a a a giggling chirp or something and it like spirals and it it kind of has like a weird oscillate not weird but it has this oscillating ring to it um there's magical wow and the whole energy in my room just shifted it kind of felt like I just entered um a I don't know like where light is more vibrant it, like colors or like like the saturation of my environment just got turned up when I started uh, picking up. It was almost like some kind of light language I was hearing. So there is some kind of interdimensional, um, etheric, spiritual um, entity or group. It, it feels like a whole like a a whole realm trying to work with you. And with this bubble, it's like because. Y they have been observing you and studying you um and not in a weird way it's like just hoping that you were the right candidate just hoping you would be the one that would be perfect for this and they see that you have um you have shown to whatever this is that you are you are in with this bubble it's almost like you are gaining some kind of access to their realm so they can present to you some i'm hearing like key holder or bearer like i i feel like they're gifting you some kind of light some kind of gift and um 
it comes from their realm and they want you to keep it. They want you to just give me one second. Keep it, share it, and grow. And let it flower into the earthly realms. And I'm feeling something in my hand right now as I'm saying this. Um, yeah, this is... You're being like... You're, chose, you're being chosen and bestowed some kind of gift. Some kind of light. It comes with abilities. This is reminding me of something I've seen in a TV series. Um, and it was talking about this individual became what was called in the show, God Touched. A, a god, a deity, had touched this mortal being. And it gave them a light. And what they chose to do with that light um, determined whether or not it would grow. But the more they used that light for others, it would continue to manifest and grow. And they would um, ascend into a more um, godlike presence. Um, this is kind of giving me that energy. I'm feeling gold in my veins right now. Like a, a liquid golden light. I don't know what this is, y'all. This is wild. This, this definitely might not be for everyone and that's okay we have healing it's some kind of ability it comes with abilities you're being like it's like you're given access to another realm and i'm hearing like 13 13 d this is definitely for someone specifically, I I heard thirteen D, and then um, it's like it it like whatever this is, by no means is this um any lower than like seven D. This is like at least seven to nine D, um, kind of energy. And I normally don't specify on that, but I feel like that is important. Um, it's like you're being given access to this realm. So with it. You are going to be able to hear their guidance. That's why at the beginning I was telling you if you are, if you've recently um, noticed you've had, if those of you that are tapped in, you're spiritual, you know you um, communicate with the um, ancestral or spiritual realms, you know you communicate with the Most High, with the angels. Um, if you've noticed you've had like new guides, a new presence, and you've been like wondering, are you really having some kind of uh, telepathic communication with a, a new energy? You are. And uh, it you are starting to develop some kind of relationship and they want to assist you. Bring. It's like you're chosen to bring some kind of gift to the world. That's really what I'm getting. And it heals you and heals others. And the more, and it's like, I don't know, it's like a seed of some special kind of light that comes from some much higher dimensional realm than ours. And you're being gifted it to bring back home to earth realm. And share it and keep it, nurture it, let it grow, plant more um, sparkles of this light in the earth around you. This is opening up a, um, a like a, a higher, a higher density of grid network in our uh like geosphere, like our, our our Earth's consciousness. It's like you're bringing some kind of code as well. Is another thing that's coming with this gift. Is like it comes with uh, a new pro... It's not program. It's like... All right. The way I can explain this is like... 
the easiest way for me to explain this would be to use DNA, honestly. So if we had a carbon-based DNA, just look at a carbon molecule. It can only hold but so much information, for one. Two, look at what carbon literally is. It's car it's soot, it's ash. Um, I don't know if you believe this, but a lot of people believe that crystals are actually a form of life. It's a form of consciousness that we just don't understand yet. A lot of people believe that crystals are alive. Um, this is almost like our consciousness grid network, the ley lines, the energy that holds the pillars the foundations of our world of our realm of our structure of our hologram of our simulated experience on this earth realm it's um processor is i don't know what on earth Either way, to without me trying to get to all the nitty gritty of it, because this is a a really higher level of information that I'm I'm tapping into right now, and I'm having a hard time understanding it to be honest with you. But something about like you're bringing a multifaceted crystalline, like I'm seeing like an oscillated, like a like a swirling dodecahedron, but like with more dimensions in it almost like a tesseract but like it's a dodecahedron tesseract inside another and it's swirling and oscillating and that is the crystalline vessel f conduit for the like god source creation consciousness to flow through to form a grid network for us to tap into and um process the information through our unconscious back through our subconscious and our conscious and then project it's like we're tapping into a, a deeper more information um it's like previously we were nerfed and you're being chosen to bring in this new god code into the grid um it's gonna reshape our reality and our matrix it's gonna cause an ascension um and it's gonna allow those that connect with this energy, it's going to allow them to operate on, I'm hearing literally operate on ways that people would think is impossible. Heavy on the Deva realm. What else, Spirit? I'm going to pull from a Another deck real quick. Oh, shit. This is... Okay. I'm hearing, like, some kind of, like... Etherical cosmic dragon has been activated. Oh, shit. We're in the year of the dragon. I don't know. I'm tapping into some weird information that I've never heard of. Um, we have this draconian coming out of here. So this has to do with uh, war, like the ancient galactic war. This is securing a new, like, securing the grid, secure the grid, secure the grid. I just keep hearing secure the grid, and I I feel like soldiers' feet marching. It This is, it's like we're cutting out the bullshit. It's bringing in a, all right, so like previously people have been able to tap into a certain level of information, a certain level of awareness, a certain density to manifest and create from, but this is bringing in like all, a level that's so profound it would almost the only way I could imagine anyone actually actively like interacting with this on a normal day to day basis would be literally witnessing what I would only have words to describe would be like a god or goddess. That kind of level of um, God source creation consciousness like you're that God like I mean, there's only one source creator. I understand that but we can the whole goal is to be as much as our true self as possible while still um, maintaining physicality. That's the dream. That's 
the whole reason why there's so much genetic research throughout our galactic history. A lot of it. Um, it's like we've been nerfed and limiters are coming off. It's like we were only able to access, like, 5D strands. Like, this, but now there's, like, I heard 12 and then I immediately felt like a, it was weird. It was like the 12 was dimensional into, like, a, a weird repeating sequence of 12s. And then I immediately got flashed and saw the number 144. Um, gosh, this is like God code awakening in DNA. And whoever this is for in the collective, you've been, um, you've been selected for this. You've been selected to receive this, um, information, this gift, this light, this access. Uh, you are being chosen as a torchbearer for this. Wow. Wow. Ursa Minor, specifically, and Ursa Major. And I keep getting blanks. There's only two... Oh, wait, nope. Oh, some cards got mixed up in this. These are cards I haven't made yet. That would make sense. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We have Crystal. This is crazy. Sorry, I had to take a moment and ground because I just I had to take a moment to connect to my body again. What I find interesting is uh, with this Ursa Minor card coming out, um, I believe Ursa Minor has is near the Dipper constellation, near the Polaris star. Um, and I think the mythology behind it has to do with the little bear, which is the son of Zeus. If we were to just look at, just humor me for the mythology, right? And just leave the secular, non-secular thoughts and opinions aside. If Zeus was said to be the king, uh, like the, the god of all the gods, right? And then the sun... Oh my goodness. This is like... You are being, at, like, you're being granted, like, oh my god, I can't even think. I'm literally seeing 144 strands of DNA in a, a this crate. it's not even a double helix of a DNA expression. I don't even know how to describe the shape I'm seeing in my mind. And it's literally giving me, like, um, primordial Christ consciousness all the way down to the cellular level. Crystal, again, and I was talking about um, the difference between what a carbon can hold and what a crystal can hold. The difference between having carbon-based DNA and crystalline-based DNA. And I just seen God and goddesses. And we have Rainbow, and then I did see the um, Reptilians as well. So yeah, this this is like, because when I, when I felt the 1212 and then saw the 144, and then I, I that's why I had to pause the video, because I, like, I damn near left my body. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Someone in the collective... Is being selected, being chosen to literally activate 144 strands of DNA. Have some kind of um, new level of like your your a uh, complete upgrade, a huge hardware upgrade. Like your body previously could only possibly exist to a certain extent. It can only hold so much of God's consciousness. It can only hold so much of one, of unity light. Um, Yeah, not anymore. It's like uh, limiters have been taken off. You're no longer nerfed. You're now accessing like all the realms, all the densities. 
and you're also being granted access to um realms that are gifting you um ancestral magic like light information like you are getting new spirit gods um you have a lot of like magical energy around you that is trying to work with you. Um, and I feel like it's because they can see what you are. Like the naked eye can't see what they see. They see you for what you actually are. They can see your real form. Everyone else is just stuck in this uh, illusionary holographic matrix. We only see a certain spectrum of the light. But they see your final form. Like they really, they see you as like a, a God source being aware of itself on earth. And it's like they're wanting to work with you because we're entering some kind of crucial point um, with securing the grid. And, and it's like getting enhanced. It's like being upgraded. Like the whole conscious grid network is the collective is being like. The pillars, it's something about pillars, like literally the foundation. And I'm seeing like ancient codes coming live deep within the earth. And it's like almost opening a stargate. I don't know if this, this might even have something to do with the damn pyramids, y'all. I'm I'm sorry. This is, this is a wild download. Um, what else would you like us to know? raven so with this gift and ability your um specifically your mediumship abilities are going to profoundly increase and i'm hearing like in order for you to balance the higher realms you have to um have an access to more of the lower realms and I'm really feeling like command the dead kind of energy right now. Y'all might literally uh, awaken some kind of ability where you find you can command the dead. Beyond worlds. Yeah, you're tapping into a whole new level of intuition. Um... And you're supposed to bridge the gap is what I'm getting. It's like you are the portal for these realms to. It's like. It's almost like the issue with free will. So let's say an, a, a, a being that's existed for an absurd amount of time, an amount of time that our brains can't even comprehend. And they have just been on like an extreme level of evolution and so beyond. And they see a realm developing life. They see a civilization growing. <laughs> There's an issue with um, aiding an organism's evolution because you don't want, it's... It's weird. You don't want to mess with something's free will. But like it's almost like you're you're a loophole because you are a f energetic match and you are like consensually interacting with their guidance and they are giving you a gift and you are willingly receiving this gift and this gift being light information, gifts, abilities, activations that allows them to influence our world for the better. Because they can't just snap their fingers and cause an ascension on earth. Um, we have to actually do the work, but they do want to help. So it's like they are able to help the collective through you. It's like you're a channel for other realms to um, bless us. It's like you're a, a walking conduit of interdimensional blessings. And in this, we are winning the war. 
and I'm I'm hearing like ha, what war? And when I said that, it was kind of like there there is no war. That shit's been long gone. Whoever I'm, whatever I'm tapping into right now, um, I I guess it only we're still in a a, a position in our vortex where there's still some like phantom pockets within our consciousness. So like the um illusionary idea of this war still exists but to this being that i'm tapping into that shit's no more it's just light um and it's like they're helping us oh it's almost like it, we got like it was already defeated in the upper realms and then it got like in contained like quarantine in lower realms and now it's time to cleanse that out too and you're the vessel that's currently in a lower realm that's being given access to light and consciousness and information and gifts and abilities from multiple, like, uh, it, it's it's crazy. It's not just one place. Like, you're getting it from so many different um, dimensions and realms. So many different beings are working with you. This is crazy. I'm literally just seeing a human body being a God force portal is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a human avatar that is a God force portal. Like there's no ones and zeros. It's just one big fucking zero. That's it. And anything is a, there's no limitations. This is wild. I'm going to have to leave this one here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you on the next collective message.